Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Today, as you can see by the video, we are doing a Maze Plus update on the cows. So I did a how-to how cows video um, a year or so ago now, maybe two years ago now. It's been a long time. But this is just going to be a little quick update with the Maze Plus add-on because I've struggled a few times with how to use it. I've got the wrong rations. I've tried to do it how it was done before and it just didn't work so i've found a couple of mods that have helped me and yeah we'll go from there we're going to start off with the beef dairy cut uh not with the beef with the dairy cattle and so every stock has a different total mix ration so to start off with this one we are obviously doing the dairies there so i usually start off with a couple of things which is always like a necessity for these which is mineral feed we start off with one of those and I'm just gonna pick it up for now just to make it easier for the video um, we'll hold it there and that will go in I'm going to use the same mixer wagon for every single one it's up to you it's your choice what what mixer wagon you want to use um, I'm just keeping it the same just to make it easier so for the dairies you can use filtered water or normal water and the way you get this is you pop into the shop you go into pallets and you scroll along and you will find here it's on the maze plus mod it's filtered water or you can get water which you can get from um, a tap or a water tank anything of your choice the second thing for the dairy is molasses or the third thing sorry and to get these in there you just jump into the tractor press R and it will start filling up from one of these containers so there we go that's the filtered water in we are just going to fill up for the molasses now and that's the molasses in and filled so one of the mods which would really help if you downloaded is called animal food overview so if you've got this mod you press control right control right shift and F and it takes you to this which is really really helpful this is what's helped me be able to work animals with the maze plus mod if you press show mixture recipes so here you have all the different ones so you've got cow total mix ration realistic that's quite a big one i don't usually do this one um i usually do the beef cattle one which is this the young stock one which is this one we'll go through those two and the dairy one which is this one we'll go through this this one now you've also got pig food and i believe that's how you make grain grist but I'm not 100% sure I need to do that and figure that out. Um, and then I'll show you guys what I find out about that. So we've got hay here, which is 50% of the ration. We've got maize or grass silage, which is 75%. Mineral feed, which we've just put in, 10%. Brewer's grain silage, which is 10%. Grain grist, which is 10%. Filtered water, 5 And molasses, 5 so here we have got the grass silage, we'll chuck that in now. Like I said, I'm just going to use the Super Strength mod to help out with this tutorial. Then we're going to put the hay in, like such. And then once we're happy that that's mixed through, we will start adding a bit of the brewer's grain silage and a bit of the other one we don't want to go too mad with putting too much in here because we don't want to outweigh the the ration with something that we don't need that much of so we'll put a little bit in at a time until we get it just right if we get it in 
So there we have it. We put some of the brewer's green silage in. Now it's time for the. Now it's time for the grain grist. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, all the levels are going up. And now, if we jump into the tractor, we should have a full total mix ration. If we press to get this onto the screen. So yeah, as you can see, I've, I could fill it right up, but there's no point for this tutorial. I just wanted to keep it nice and simple for you guys to follow. Everything's in the green. We just need to pull forwards. And hopefully it should work. So there we So it's just letting me use the grass silage for now. Right, so. So it turns out, I think we could possibly need another mineral feed for the dairy stock. I've not used the dairy stock fully yet, so that's probably why I've not got it down to a T of how it needs to be. Um, on the games I've been playing, it's just been the young stock so far that I've needed to keep well so let's try again we'll just pull forwards because if you've not got the right amount it will just say grass silage or hay like it says here it just says hay um, so you can start emptying a bit of that if you need to just to get your rations right so now we have sorted that out we should be able to just pull forward here and Unload. So we are just about to be fully emptied. If we head over to the start menu, look at our Frisians, which is the dairy cattle. Every single one of these is has got some ink in, so the productivity of them will go up a lot. If we are fast forward time just so we can have a bit of an idea and hopefully that should just show us that uh, it's well in five minutes it's gone up to 10% so it won't take a while to go up to 100% so just by having all of those little bits um, it really helps boost your productivity uh, on the dairy cows right let's head over to the young stock so here we are over at the young stock. We have got Angus's here. And if we just look at the dialogue, young stock is classed as calf and heifer. Until the heifer has its first calf, it will then turn into a cow. So while they're a heifer, they are still young stock. So for this one, all we've got to do is Mineral feed again, molasses, filtered water. That's pretty much the base for all um, for all of the feeds. I like to put it in. You don't have to, but I just like to have it in there just to make sure we get 100% productivity. Nearly taken out the Merlot with the uh, mineral feed there definitely didn't mean to do that so we'll just leave that to fill up oh we may as well wait and then just do them both quickly right we'll do a little bit of telehandling here shall we so for this one we are going to need one bale of straw because straw is in this feed I will show you the I 
I will show you the feed ration in a second on the little help screen. It's handy that you can use these muck forks as bale spikes as well, to be honest. I quite, I quite like it. Right, there we go. That should be a total mixed ration, which it is. We will head on round now, just so I can show you that it works. We'll head on round and we'll get this fed out to them. Make sure you go in the trigger. I've got all the triggers on just so people can see. And if you are wondering what map this is, this is Bally Spring by Eo Modding. I am, I am modding. This is Bally Spring. Anyway, it's really good. Um, you can go onto 4D Modding's website on Google, and it'll be on there. It's really good. Um, it's also on the Mod Hub on Farming Simulator. And I think it's also out on console now, which is really good too. So yeah, as we can see, that is being fed out there. We head on over to the cows. Heifer, Angus, it's all going up perfectly, just how we want. I like to add all of it in because it all counts as moisture food, power food, roughage, base food. And it just makes the productivity so much better, the health better and reproduction normally comes around a bit quicker. So now we shall head on over to the beef cattle. Right, before we start on the beef cattle, I just want to quickly show you the young stock mixture that we just did. So if I press right control, right shift and F, this will come up. We press show mixture recipes and we head down to total mix ration young stock. So 75% hay, 50% maize silage or grass silage, 30% straw, 10% mineral feed or duca mineral feed, 5% filtered water or water, and then 5% molasses. So now we are at the beef stock. So these are full cows. These have calved once or twice. So they are clusters. Um, adult adult cows uh, not heifers so the beef stock is then again different to the young stock even though they're both both beef they are slightly different in what they eat so we're gonna start again off with the mineral feed Fill up the molasses and water. Right, so there's a good point that I just missed out. I put the, you saw me put the mineral feed in, and then it wasn't letting me put in the molasses or filtered water because when you're on the on the mixer wagon you must press Y as you can see here it says mixing ratio at the bottom if I press Y it changes Y so that's the realistic one it will say in the menu current recipe realistic mi mixture press Y again beef cattle press Y again young stock Y again dairy pig food standard there we go. Right, so here we are, we're on beef cattle. Let's fill up the molasses and the filtered water. We'll just have to get another mineral feed in here. 
but that was a really good example of why you've you've really got to make sure that you pick the right recipe when when you're on the mixer wagon depending on what stock you have else it just will not work it won't work if you're trying to put other things in it i've trust me i've been through i've been through it and it for ages it was just i was struggling not not really thinking until i got the animal food overview really just helped out and everything just sort of clicked together so just chuck the mineral feed in again da -da 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 -da. so there we go there's the mineral feed right we will put the bales in So we are using this time May silage and alfalfa hay for the beef cattle. Don't worry about what colour the nets are on this. Uh, I've just got the net wrap add on which changes the colours. It will be different on yours if you don't have that. So don't panic if you're thinking that you've got the wrong one. You haven't. As long as it's alfalfa hay, it'll be fine. So now we just need a bit of this and that. We'll go through what they are in a second. Actually, we'll go through it now quickly. So if we go on to the beef, 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 beef. Right, so so we've got beet pulp we can use or beet pulp silage. And then we've got potato cut or sugar beet cut. In this whole mix, 75% maize, 75% alfalfa or clover hay, 30% of those two, 12% molasses, 12% filter water and 7% mineral feed. These bottom three, or these bottom six, are actually slightly higher in this mix than they have been in all the others. Um, I guess it's because they're beef and you want them to push on a bit, bit quicker and just gain a bit more fat. So they are pretty realistic, to be honest. I tried to use something different to make it look better, but um, turns out turns out it's not big enough. So here we go. We're gonna have a little bit uneven between the potato cut and the other one that I've just put in but as long as it says total mix ration we should be fine hopefully it does right let's jump out and let's have a look in here we have got another total mixed ration so we can just come along to the front of these. Start emptying and it should fill up all evenly and nice once again. We'll just check the menu again just to make sure that these are doing well. So click onto the Hereford and everything's filling up perfectly again. So there we have it. That is all of, hopefully, hopefully your problems within the cows and maize plus. Hopefully this video can help you um, get to where you need to go and hopefully you're not, you're not having the struggles that I've had. So it should be all good. Just one more thing I can show you. We head back over to the young stock over here. Um, you can also buy these placeables from the store if your farm's big enough and you and you would rather get placeables down. So these have all the different things. So this has um, brewer's grain, I think. Uh, this has sugar beet cut, and maybe I can't remember what this one was. But yeah, if we head on over to it. I will just show you quickly so you know. 
go into construction and then we go on to container and you'll see again here in the maze plus add-on you've got beet pulp brewer's grain I thought there was a couple more but perhaps there isn't um, I don't really know what these couple are I've not used them I've just downloaded them um, but yeah also another quick tip if you come onto here and you click on your mods and DLCs you find maze plus somewhere there it is so you can use this to make a CCM which will be in some of the other total mix rations and if we scroll along these are all the different bales you can buy pallets of food chicken food beet pellets grain grist um, so yeah just have a look and if you'd rather buy things you can buy them if you'd rather make it you can make it um, but yeah I hope this tutorial has helped you guys um, I just tried to do things that I knew I was stuck on so if you'd like any other tutorials on pigs or sheep I'll, I'll um, happily do them just drop a comment below and um, yeah thank you very much for watching I have changed my name to LGS Gaming I'm not too sure yet but we'll, we'll see um, thank you very much for watching we'll see you again soon take care bye for now and please hit subscribe if you don't mind thank you Ha <laughs> ha.